them off, Matt. Cut them off. Joe Tedai is heading to one of these tiny specks of land in the Pacific to meet up with his new partner for the first time. I've got minimum intel on my new partner. I know his name is Matt. I know he's a primitive skills expert. And I know he specializes in long-term survival, and that's why he comes to places like this. Whether he comes here to train or vacation, I don't have a clue. Other than a map, compass, binoculars, and machete, Joe has nothing to aid his survival. No food, water, shelter, or fire-making resources. Gracias, senor. Once he finds Matt, the pair will have to seek rescue together. We infilled here. His last known coordinate is here on this X. It's time to take down some brush. Joe is a highly skilled tactical tracker who spent over a decade using these skills on special operations missions in Iraq and Afghanistan. This is as good a time as any to say hello. You boy, cash hold you up. Hey, bro. I assume you're Matt. <laughs> I am. Nice to meet you. Yeah, you too. Matt Graham is a hunter gatherer who has been living off the land in the canyons of Utah for nearly 20 years, traveling by foot, hunting with handmade tools, making his own clothing and living in primitive shelters. Matt thrives in long-term survival situations. That looks like a bow. What is that? Though? This tool predates the bow and arrow. If I throw it with this device, it What's works that in called? here. It's called the Atla. At, at, -lado. at -lado. I'm a former Special Forces weapons sergeant, so I love weapons. I've got more than a few of my own. But this thing, I've never even heard of it before. So what you got going on over here, man, this design of your roof looks a little bit different than what I would have normally made. It looks kind of funny the way it's sloped, but it's been so dry, I had to actually build a roof that would catch rainwater. We got a little bit of rain about four days ago, but it's the dry season right now, and the roots are starting to dry up, the seeps are dried up. It's definitely getting to that point where we gotta figure out something else for water. Got it. This recon for water is going to be my first mission with Matt. So hopefully it's going to be successful. Yeah? Matt, there's a lot of loose rocks. So yeah. whoever wants to go first, let that person get to the bottom, at least below this cliff, and then the other person will go. In a situation like this, what you don't want to do is climb right behind each other. The upper climber knocks a rock loose. It could hit the guy below him in the head. you got to pay attention to every step, every move, every climb that you take. Because if you get in a situation where you put yourself in too much risk and you can't take care of yourself, you're in big trouble. Matt, you OK? It could hit the guy below him in the head. Matt! Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I had my left hand on a really solid root, which was a good thing, because that whole edge just gave away. Matt told me he's an experienced climber, and I'm seeing him slip and slide all over the place, so I'm really going to be careful. Yeah, I think you made a pretty damn smart decision. I'm not coming down here, Matt, by yourself. Yeah, you never know. Okay. Yeah. Go. Go. I hear these rocks rolling, and the next thing I know, I'm sliding, yeah, and I can't stop. You all right? Yeah, yeah. This was our first close call, and Matt's first instinct was to help me. If Matt and I climb down off of this ravine to go find water and there's none down there, we have taken a very big risk with zero payoff. With the decision made to travel to another island, work begins on a raft made of balsa logs and other native resources. Taking its name from the Spanish word for raft, the balsa tree is widely used for buoyancy. Do one cut here. You want to okay, let me start with that one. For the middle piece. Okay, yeah, got it. The next one will be so there. Up in here. Okay. Yeah. So this, I can use the bamboo as cross members, and I have these Y-shaped stakes. You 
ready to go, man? Yeah. All right, let's see if it floats. Now, they are attempting a risky ocean crossing in search of water. Now on open water, where the salt of the sea takes away the skin's natural moisture and sun exposure accelerates dehydration. It's been a long paddle. Yep, I'm ready to get there. It's been a long journey. We are getting closer to the island, but the only side that's available to us looks like rocky shoreline as far as we can see. Yep, easy, 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 easy. Good, go ahead, go and get out, Matt, get out. I got it, I got it. Mission accomplished getting over here, but now we've got to get to work. We've got to find water. This place is a lot greener, man. Yeah, it's a good sign. Hey, Joe, wait, stop for a second. You hear that? Hey, Joe, look. Oh, wow. Yeah. That is a sight for sore eyes. Let's get down there, man. <laughs> now we've got a water source. That is a huge mental boost. We made the right decision. Oh. Hey, Matt, what are you doing? Dude, don't drink that This is, look at this water. This is great water. No, 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 man. Let's, why don't we just get a fire going and boil the water just to be safe? I live in the wilds. It's, it's who I am, it's what I do. To not drink wild water, to me, is, is actually very foreign, very strange. Have you ever had amoebic dysentery? Twice. OK, in, I, my, in my life. I almost died from it in Malaysia, drinking from a stream just like this. I'm not drinking this stuff. If one of us gets sick from drinking this water, it's gonna be up to the other person to get that person out. How far do you think you can carry someone through this jungle? Priority number one is to get that fire built so I can purify some water for Joe. While living alone in Panama and waiting for Joe's arrival, Matt made a primitive hand drill to start fire by friction. There's a nice big coal there. Got a little bit of torrent heal. This is, uh, it's actually a really soothing herb. Just add a little bit of nutrients to the tea for Joe. Few natural containers can withstand the heat of a fire long enough to boil water. But as a primitive hunter-gatherer, Matt is familiar with the ancient cooking technique of stone boiling, whereby hot stones will transfer high temperatures into the gourd and kill any pathogens in the water. Now, there we go. Everything I need to make a signal fire is right here within arm's reach. Keep it up off the ground, three fires, because three is the international distress signal. Hey, bro, this looks great. I love it. Man, let me tell you, you couldn't have been any better timing right now, man. I'm feeling yeah. like There's the water. Hey, Matt, did you boil this stuff? Yeah. Yeah, full. It has a uh, very odd taste. Oh, I threw in a little Torin Hill. It's uh, some, some what? Some Torin Hill. It's just like a soothing tea. Matt is always thinking about how to improve his situation. And instead of just bringing me boiled water, he put some herbs in it and gave me some nutrients that I needed. It was pretty damn smart of him. We got fruit, but if this is going to turn into a long-term survival situation, we're going to need that fuel. We're going to need red meat. When I was building a shelter over there, cutting materials, I did see some pig tracks. Oh, really? I don't know if you're thinking what I'm thinking. You know, if we take down a wild pig, that can sustain us for a week or two. Normally, guys, with your skill sets, you like to eat bugs. I don't get that. I, I don't get it at all, dude. You done it, man. I'll let you move up ahead a little bit, and then I'm gonna start flanking off to the left. Okay. okay. Sounds good. It's definitely a peccary, and it seems a little bit leery. It's concerned about our presence. There he goes, there he goes. 
Nice and easy, Matt. Cut him off, Matt. Cut him off. It's a good shot. I got it. Wait, wait. It's a good shot. Joe, Joe. When Joe came in there, I could see his adrenaline was just full charge. That's not how I hunt. It's important for me that I show respect to this animal. I don't want it to suffer needlessly. I want to give it an honorable death. That looks good. Yeah. That looks real good. He's look about done. I was going to say the same thing, man. The more time that Joe and I spend together, we'll be able to exchange each other's philosophies. And I'm hoping that underneath that tough guy image that Joe's got, I believe there might be a tree hugger inside there. That we're going to make it as a team? Or should we part ways right now and I go home? I think we might just do all right together. A new day and clear skies bring another chance for rescue. Regardless of the survival situation, the longer you are in it, the less likely you are to survive it. So Matt needs to understand right now, he wants to stay here for two or three more weeks. He's going to do it alone. I'm not here on vacation. Looks like he saw us. Good job. Yeah, nice. Really nice, nice dude. I love the way you hustle. Seriously. 